hello there cancerian welcome in to say just sent a healing tarot i hope that you're doing well thank you so much for being here much love all right getting some tarot messages here for you remember that these are general messages so all of the messages may not apply to all of you so take what applies and the rest let it fly welcome in remember that your energy is super important in this reading so I ask that you breathe deeply with me from the base of your spine and as you release, intend upon your energy being present so that we can pull out messages that resonates with as, mu as much of you as possible. Thank you for coming through. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, beautiful comments on my channel. Much love and gratitude. All right. The question I ask was what can cancerians do now to level up now and the two cards that came out temperance and eight of pentacles the temperance energy has been dropping in your messages for for so many readings and i don't i don't know the temperance energy is but I'm, th I'm saying that this is the presence of guidance or encouragement. The temperance energy is fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius. It's the energy of balance, of giving, of equality, of alignment with your higher self, your third eye vision, your higher intuition. Okay, and then the eight of pentacles is putting in the work working now I'm going to find the exact definition for for temperance and then I think I'm going to ask for clarifications further so that we can understand what message this temperance is bringing for us in this time cancerians when I first saw temperance energy coming out I was thinking it's saying that can, as Cancerians, we need to find balance. Temperance is Sagittarius energy. Sagittarians are known to be fun, light-hearted. They take things easy. Sagittarius would be called the life of the party. They're vibrant. Their extroverted personalities make them stand out. They're loved. Did I say fun? They're very fun, high-spirited, very brave as well, courageous. They take action. Very powerful people, also very strong in heart, in mind, in will, okay? They know how to work. It's that balance. Um, is it resonating with you? So if you're, if there's any of these areas in your life that is, um, that matches the definition of Sagittarius energy that you think needs work, especially when it comes to internal work, working on you, your value system, and the things you want to be, do have in this life, no. Temperance is here. I feel it's it's um it's it's a hint. It's a hint. It comes up as a hint every time when you ask the question, you get this hint. So I'm going to get that out. Temperance is economy, moderation, frugality, management, accommodation. It's connected to churches, religions, priesthood, union, disunion, and competition, things that you're interested in. That's temperance. So it's actually, I feel it's put living life. That's what came a while ago to me, living life. Putting yourself out there, living life. That's what's resonating. Living life, Cancerian. Living life. Angel Spirits Guides, do help me to clarify the temperance energy for cancers. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Hmm. The chariot is the card that, for me, it represents a cross between water sign, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, all right, it's a high spirited card. It's the card of an archangel that shows up to guide, to heal, to promote well being. 
This is the card of abundance, of glory, of victory, of championing through. Remember we were saying competition with the temperance energy. We're talking about work. So there's something about a drive that some of you need to have. These are this is powerful. It's as if you need your presence needs to be felt. Your energy needs lighting up. You need to be sure of who you are, and that is why the internal work is necessary. And there are many different things that you have to work on in yourself. So that you can be the best of you. You want to show up as the best. The chariot energy is saying that you, Cancer, are so magnificently abundant in so many ways in spirit. I'm just getting the energy of spirit here. Just your, your natural essence. What you bring even from your heart. It's so pure and so true. And I'm getting the energy that not everyone is is innocent or no one is innocent. Okay? But now I'm feeling that it is everything that you've done, been through, you everything that makes you all of this power in the way you hold yourself wholesomely with everything that you've done, everything that you've accomplished. <laughs> Even the things that we would consider as wrong or bad, all of it is present here within the chariot energy. And it is held. Am I making it clear? Huh. <sighs> All right, let's clarify the chariot energy because the chariot energy is guided by a spirit, a light, not by what is seen with the two physical eyes, but also third eye vision. And that is seen ref reflected both in the temperance and the chariot. You are a very knowing person, very gifted angelic presence um your head you often see things your like your head above the clouds kind of um vision you know you yo you are so powerful who you are and you wear your heart on your chest you do you're very connected to earth to mother nature you love life you love being outside in the garden you love nurturing, healing, promoting well-being. That's the kind of angel you are. That's, that's the earth angel that you are. The sun. The sun. You and the sun have a very unique, very special relationship. Especially throughout the daytime. Pay attention to your energy throughout the daytime and your alignment with the sun as it moves across the sky. You are going to line up if you feel out of alignment. Pay attention to the sun. I mean, I mean, keep it in your awareness throughout the day as it rises in the east. Keep it in your awareness throughout the day as it moves across the sky in alignment with your temple, with your temple, your body, your body of light. And um, sun gazing as well is very important for you as it helps to activate your third eye gland, okay? And I feel like the energy of your activated third eye gland, whatever hormones it's releasing in you, it helps you to become enlightened. It lit the hormones released by sun gazing for you, wow, it, it, it goes into your bloodstream and it makes you, <clears throat> well, I don't know the science of it, truly, but 
there's something that happens to you in your blood, especially in your blood, in your blood, your skin. Well, I know it's common knowledge, right? But for you, it's it's more chemical, chemical activation. It's something within your chemical streams, like endorphins or whatever. <laughs> Um, um, it's, 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 it, it, um, it, it's as if it's that dose of something that helps your you to light up. Yo, let's clarify this. Who are you? The energy of the chariot feels like a kingdom that is, that has risen up from the ocean. Big, beautiful, glorious kingdom to behold, rising out of the waters. And you're sitting on top of this kingdom and you're so beautiful like, like it's your energy is so so nice all right and then there's an offering of love coming into you which I feel you are also offering love to someone in this position as if you came here to you came <laughs> you're here to find something on a mission do you see this you're on a mission here and I hear collaborate and you're here with your kingdom I mean the glory I'm not religious mind you okay but this is how I'm speaking with the glory of God in everything with the kingdom and you're here backed by your angels your spirits guides and you are showing yourself this king or this emperor I just asked who is this emperor the king of cups come out and this is new love for some of you this could be the collaboration someone sees you and this person has been here for a long time they may be older than you are more experienced this person you and this person is connected by fire energy this person is going to offer you something out of love. It's just that you catch this energy's eyes as you rise up. Your the sun is shining like, like like the sun literally rising and the beams of light. This person had no choice but to look over yonder. And then for some reason they want to connect with you. A feeling of love and gratitude, of well being. And this person is normally very stern, connected to earth, very divine as well. This person has businesses, has platforms set up, has a lot of earth energy within their chart. So they know how to work hard, how to grind, how to stay committed. All right. But this person, when I asked who is the emperor, I got the king of hearts along with the ten of wands. So I feel it's new, new eyes, new love, new prosperities, new perspective, new prospects, mm -hmm, new opportunities. And this is coming from someone that is mature in heart, in intention. And this is also your energy as well. You're both the king and queen here. And I feel as it, it is as you come into your power that you begin to rise as the sun and your light is seen and then you begin to attract to you all that is meant for you. And it is this King of Cups and Ace of Cups and Emperor energy, Ten of Wands energy is not just one person or one situation. It's like all the abundance of beautiful things, opportunities coming into you new beginnings as you alight and it's as if as you take your throne on your kingdom as you sit on your kingdom's throne as we get over to this side on the table we are seeing something happened I feel watch who you let in your emotions people offer you things compliments gifts all right but i feel you're also you need being careful about how how much you let people into you and this is for some people in some cases 
I feel like you're releasing things <sighs> as if something is being taken away from you that was not serving you. Things that you were bearing all along. You were carrying some burdens with you. Financial burdens, perhaps. Thoughts of not having. It's as if you were pulling this bag of stone with you all along. Look at this person's muscles. Dragging burdens along with you up mountains. Thinking that you had to, I feel. But it's, I feel you've come to a place where it's been taken away from you. And what is right is being given unto you. It's been put directly in your hands. And this is the word. Here I am and I'm saying this is spirituality, Cancerian. And the word is the power, the will, the identity, the fortress, the foundation, your faith. Your consciousness, your divinity, your grace, your place as a child of the Most High. And as you begin to work on yourself, your internal space, and doing new things, I feel, will do very well for you. Putting yourself out there, connecting more, being free-spirited, releasing past burdensome situations, giving from your heart space. Because I feel like you too, as I said, are giving. You two are here with your hands outstretched, Cancer, and you have an intention. You came here for, for a reason, and it's within your heart space. So I feel keep giving, leading from your heart. And you're not, oh, this is so powerful. I love the intensity that she's focusing on her dreams here. Whatever she's focusing on, what is the Queen of Cups? Focusing on Angel Spirit Guides, if you don't mind. The six. Yo, this is huge. I feel it's, you know, it's paving a way with the six of swords. It's as if I'm um, going into lands where there were no riverbeds and creating riverbeds. It's hard. It's not easy. It takes focus and intention. Creating riverbeds so that water can flow through. Oh my God, it's so powerful because I did say I feel you're rising. You bring water. And this is nourishment, healing, love, guidance. Everything that you're bringing is so powerful. You're creating waves. You're creating new ways, new avenues, new streams for, I feel, love to reach in different areas, in different parts of the earth. I feel it's an, an, a work of earth that you're doing. You're moving. And what, the energy that you're moving through, clearing out so that you can create newness on earth when it comes to love and healing on earth. It's not easy, man. With the Six of Swords, it's telling, it feels like paving a way, like going in the soil and paving that through. So you need to really, that's why I'm saying your spiritual, your spiritual need side you have to really focus that because you are here. You have a purpose today, every day. The energies that, you know, ask for help and it is around you always. You're getting through. So for some of you, it's as if you were robbed of your wealth, your financial stability. It was that kind of game that's been playing with you. And you went through a lot, yes, cancer. But look at you as you rise. <clears throat> and so I feel something is being returned to you. With the, you're like a savior energy. <sighs> All right. All right, any other messages? <laughs> with love. I feel a soulmate connection. Hey, that's the sun energy. This three of pentacles for me, sun energy in, in the playing cards. So many, I just, I just love this for you. It's not easy because this is the journey you're on now. So maybe for some of you, you're not seeing, you're not seeing the fullness of all that you have to do. You're, you know, you still feel caught up in not having but 
something is coming it's coming from a water sign it's a message a message emotional message a spiritual message and it's going to help you to come out of the eight of swords energy where you feel trapped or hindered or stuck either mentally or physically you're going to now begin to realize that the power is within you and then you're standing up for yourself another message gone with the wind fabulous energy this is telling me you're you're now realizing how to protect guard shield your emotions you know not you're, you're learning how to not be so thin skinned or whatever it is thinking about other people's opinion and all these little things that keeps you from standing in your power you see me that's what I'm saying all right uh, then there's so much beautiful things coming in for you you have I feel like even though things may be hard what you're doing your mission it's not hard you know it's just the focus and the intention to follow your heart that may be tricky because of some environment that you have to do it in but i do feel that when you align with love the ace of cups love you know why you're doing what you're doing it makes things easier when the alignment comes the way gets paved easier when you're moving through love Whatever it is that you're doing, move through love, move through an alignment of the Ace of Cups energy because it is within you. This is how you give. This is how you be and operate through this. Let's, what is the Ace of Cups energy? Hmm. The King of Cups is telling me it's your will, what you want. Let thy will be done. It is how you are focusing your intentions, where you want to be what you want to see hmm. also prayer praying and breathing okay prayer breathing connecting to your angels your spirits your guides and a knowing that what you want is already done and that will help you to get to your goals thank you so much for coming through leaving your messages here concern it is a rainy morning um i hope you're enjoying your day take it easy out there thank you so much for liking the video leaving a compliment behind if the messages help you in any way shape or form share the video with those you love and of course subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell to be notified whenever i upload new content for you all of your support is greatly appreciated see you in the next video remember that all is within you take care